Hello, uh, my name is Harsha Sede and welcome to my life page. Today I am going to talk about life skills training. But before that, let me introduce myself to you. I did my schooling from Dehradun and uh, my graduation, post-graduation also happened in this city. I um, started this profession back in 2005. How I came into this profession, it's, there is an interesting uh, story behind it. Uh, I was introduced to non-directive counseling skills by a Canadian. Um, he was running an organization here in Dehradun, and uh, I got my first exposure. I was trained into non-directive counseling skills, and uh, that's where I felt that uh, there is something there inside it. I really liked it uh, more than anything else. Currently, Tuam is involved into various projects such as organic uh, farming. Um, social activism and uh, under the banner of Tuam we are also involved in life skills education projects in different uh, places. As we are moving in today's world, uh, a lot of people think that uh, they are under pressure to score good marks, uh, they want a good career and uh, we give a lot of emphasis on hard skills uh, such as uh, engineering skills, such as uh, computing skills etc. Life skills are also called soft skills uh, and uh, the fact of the matter is that today soft skills have become much more important than the hard skills. Uh, people who are able to manage their emotions properly are the most sought after uh, people. Uh, soft skills include uh, how you manage your emotions, how you uh, manage your relationships, uh, how good are you. Uh, in understanding the emotions of people, uh, how do you handle your disappointment, uh, etc. Emotional intelligence, uh, what, is, what does it mean? Uh, having a keen understanding of what emotions are for, uh, what is the message behind emotions, uh, what is the purpose behind it? Uh, ability to understand your own emotions, ability to understand the emotion of others, and most importantly, emotional intelligence means that to be able to constructively use all your emotions. So, when you are having positive emotions, uh, then everything is all right. But uh, the challenge is that when you have negative emotions, uh, that's the time when emotional intelligence plays a very important role in life. Self regulation, you know. Uh, of your feelings, of your emotions, of what kind of individual you become. Um, skill such as choosing right over wrong. Uh, you know, sometimes we know what is right, what's wrong, but we need a bit of willpower, a bit of understanding to choose it. Uh, if you are into this in this profession sincerely, uh, you will have a deep sense of satisfaction peace and you will feel that you are doing something meaningful and purposeful. Uh, the recent psychological researchers say that the uh, greatest amount of happiness in life is found in having a life of meaning and purpose. In our country, sometimes it is undervalued. People think it's easy. They, they say that, oh, what are you doing? I mean, I can do this, uh, you know. Oh, you are solving problems. I can do it. Come on, send them to me, you know. Uh, there's some undervaluation over here uh, of the profession. It requires some hard work uh, to be a trainer. Uh, as a trainer, uh, I need to be updated with uh, things happening around me. If there are new skills that are to be acquired, I, I need to be updated about it. But then when things are undervalued, then it can sometimes be discouraging. I want to start my day with some positivity. It can be some affirmations, it can be some running, it can be some yoga, uh, but I prefer to do some form of meditation every day or some form of uh, breathing exercises every day, that too in the morning. After that, uh, my day starts with, the, with, with some young people. I, these days I am working in a school, St. George College, and uh, um, uh, I, I go for my sessions at 8 a.m. in the morning and sometimes uh, some students come to me for uh, discussing their personal uh, issues and uh, 
Then late in the evening again, I want to do some form of exercise. I spend around one hour or so, one one and a half hour, just with myself. And uh, I'm flexible with this. Uh, this can include going to the pool or uh, going for a run, going to the gym, or uh, simply sitting for meditation somewhere. But I really prefer to spend that one one and a half hour of evening with me. Post evening, there can be random sessions, there can be random calls. As a trainer, I am open to take any call. So this time is sometimes utilized on Skype calling. Sometimes it is utilized for, for my clients. And yes, of course, uh, it is also utilized uh, to spend time with, with the people whom I am close to and giving time to them. I hope I have given you a balanced overview of life skills training. Thank you.